What's up, everybody? El Dinko here, and welcome to Forza. So, oh, this is sexy. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm kind of drooling because I want one of these in real life. It's, uh, it's a, this is the 2012 uh, Nissan GTR Black Edition. Of course, there, there would be so many things that I would do as soon as I bought it. Like, uh, anyways, I'm not, I'm not gonna go down that road right now. Anyways, welcome to Forza. It's a free to play if you have a high end, nice computer, because you have to have at least DirectX 12. Like, my 290X is recommended settings for this, which, yeah. So I'm going to continue the tour. I only did the first level, the first real race, and then I tried doing some free races just because I wanted to try and get used to the controls. And then I realized the GTR was probably not the car to try and learn the game in. Especially when the first car you start with are muscle cars. So let's uh, watch a cutscene. Excuse me, I just drank some... I drank some... The Pony Car, an American icon. Born in the 1960s to appeal to a younger, more energetic generation, mm -hmm. their sporty lines embody a sense of freedom, independence, style, and performance. As sales of pony cars skyrocketed, U.S. automakers began to offer race-ready models, purpose-built to defeat each other's offerings on the racing circuit. Yep. With powerful V8 engines under the hood and race-tuned suspensions, these fierce competitors battled it out for the latter half of the decade on circuits across America. Yep. The cars your... for each event have been hand-picked from the best the motorsport world has to offer. While the cars within an event are spiritually connected, each has a beauty and personality all its own. Choose the one that speaks to you. Okay, so... These are, so you get three cars right off the bat. So this game is free to play. And by free to play, it, it's actually a really fair free to play model. So you see the metal counts. Um, what you gotta do basically, each race, you get different medals, more medals, means more cars unlocked, obviously. Or you can buy the car, say if I hit Fastest unlock early, yeah. Unlocked before they can be driven. Blah, 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 don't care. Would you like to unlock this car early? 99 cents. I would say that for a free-to-play game, that is more than fair. I mean, it, it'll take probably about a day of work to actually get to 20 medals, because I mean, it's about three medals per race, I think it is. Anyways, so back to cars. No, enough about the game, let's talk about cars, because this is fun. So we have three cars. I personally, I'm gonna go with the Boss 302. Because comparatively, it is between the three, I would say, say the better of the three models, the more balanced. One in blue. You got an extra. Uh, what are special colors? Oh. There we go. Hold on. What else they got? What else they got? Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm already having a lot of fun. I haven't even gotten to the racing yet. Oh god, I haven't even picked the color on the car. Oh my god, wood grain. Done. Totally done. Oh my god. Uh, Are you ready to take this car into your first event? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am ready to take the wood grain Boss 302 Mustang. <laughs> Your first event takes place at the historic Sebring International uh, Raceway, a host of auto racing since 1950. That's cool. Built on a World War II airfield, Sebring is notorious for its rough and uneven surface. Cool. I, um, I used to have a Chrysler Sebring. Thing was a piece of shit. Um, basically... For those that don't know about cars, a Chrysler Sebring Your is... Your primary objective is to play sick God. or better. Shut Do this up. to pass the event. You can also complete bonus objectives for a higher score. Review your objectives, then select start okay. race okay. to Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I had to tweak some of the... This menu allows you to select just the right driver tar difficulty. Yeah, To provide you with exactly the level of challenge you like. Increasing the difficulty will also increase your race points. Yes, score. yes, yes, Decreasing yes. The difficulty shut up! Reduces this bonus, shut up! But it will shut, be easier shut, to win. shut up! 
Thank you. Okay, I got... ABS is... Yeah, I don't want assisted. I want ABS. I just, uh... Normal steering and rewind off so I get a 26% bonus. All right, perfect. That's just... If you know about Forza, do your thing. We are going to race in the wood grain Mustang. It's going to be fun. Oh, yes. Woo. Okay, come on. Give me... Oh, God, this thing is slow. Uh, I'm in third, really? God, get out of the way. Come on. Get, 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 get moving. I don't want you guys in my way. Anyways, so talk cars a little bit. So yes, I was saying I had a Chrysler Sebring. That if you if you know if you know about cars or at least shit, I can't drive worse shit. Um Wow, I need to get I need to move up ten places like ASAP. Uh ASAP Rocky, come on. Anyways, uh, gosh, 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 uh, what am I trying to say? It's Chrysler Sebring, um, so Mitsubishi and Chrysler share a lot of platforms, and by, what that, what I mean by platform is they are the same engine, same drivetrain, same transmission kind of deal, but different body styles. So, basically, instead of having, like, a mid 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse, I had a Chrysler Sebring, and that thing was kind of a piece of shit, and it's alright for what it was, but I would have rather had, if I would have actually gone in knowing holy shit, I'm doing bad at this race uh I need to pay attention to these lines in the road <laughs> uh but I would have rather at that point you know, I would have rather had uh, come on there we go, whip it whip it, drift it Okay, can I catch? I want to catch up. This car is so fucking slow. Uh, and I know I could have switched it on to manual transmission and probably just did other almost. Anyways, car I got after that, which I really miss that this car, is a. I had a 1985 Toyota Silica GT. Rear wheel drive, uh, SR. Not no, not SR. I'm thinking Nissan's. Um. Uh. RE20, no, that's still Nissan. SR, yeah, SR22, or no, RE22, RE22, that's it. The uh, the same engine that is in the uh, Four Banger Four Runners, which I love the shit out of that thing. Um, that thing was on its last legs when I bought it. Like, it was a great, it was a fun car to drive because it had no reverse and no working speedometer. And because it was 1985, it had no airbags, no safety features, and I'm going to lose this race. Uh, I've been too busy talking. Fuck! Well, shit. It's okay. I've got plenty of time to fail on this. i got to learn how to drive these cars anyways. Hey! Oh, hey, everybody, just stop and let me move up like 10 places. Okay, I think I've actually got the feel for the car now. This will be nice, because I'm going to fail this race. I'll at least get the points, not have to worry about the good passing. I, I'm still kind of getting warmed up to this game, because really, the la- Oh, wait, what? Not finished yet? Oh, shit, get out of my way. Get out of my way, motherfuckers. Yeah, I guess this race isn't over. So, yeah, because the last racing game I played was uh, Need for Speed. Like, the, uh, the 2016 reboot, which, I mean, I do love that. I was trying to get footage of it, but my, uh... But between my buddy and I, we ran the free trial out that we got with uh, Origin. Ah, uh, come back! I need boost! I need... I need... Ah, I... you people need to f fucking speed up and get out of my way! Um, so yeah, back to the back to the Silica. The Silica was a perfect drift car. Because, like, right out, out of the box, it was rear-wheel drive, um... Uh, it was it was fun. I I took it off roading. I drifted it. I loved it. I loved the shit out of that car. It was on its last legs because, like I said, it had no reverse. It had get the fuck out of my way. I don't care that I just hit your car. Um, 
Come on, get out of my way, motherfuckers. These are like people I don't know, or at least I used to play Xbox with them forever ago. Anyways, uh, what am I trying to say? So yeah, last legs. Yeah, the engine finally went out on it. And that's when I got the car I drive now and I've had for the past five years because it's cars have gotten expensive. Uh, I did ah, fuck this, I'm restarting the race. Restart. This. Ugh, I'm not doing good and I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up. Because I was too busy talking and trying to learn how to drive in the beginning instead of actually racing like the asshole driver I should be. Uh... Anyways, so, car I got now. Uh, 93 Nissan Maxima SE, which is a very unusual car. Um... Nissan only did the car for three, for at least that model, for three years. Um, it, it has a, uh, it's got the VE30 DE engine in it. It's a dual overhead cam, uh, V6 engine, very similar to the VQ30 DE, which, if you're a Nissan fan, which, I mean, that's why I obviously fucking hopped into a GTR right away. Get out of my way, you motherfuckers. Um... You know that the uh, the VQ is the engine that was in the mid '90s or the '90s 300ZX, which, keeping with the lineage of the 300ZX, is the the base model GXE Maxima or whatever they call them. Um, those have the the '80s 300ZX engines in it, the Z31 engines, and then I'm rambling on about engines and not racing. Fuck you! Get out of my way! It, oh, I'm back on the track. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get back up to speed. Ah, stupid Mustang. Fucking slow as shit. I, I honestly, I'm, I, I, I want to say my car in real life is faster than this. At least has a faster zero to sixty. I know my car will top out at a faster speed. Uh, I'm just judging from the spot. Oh, fucking go. God damn it! I can't drive. I'm not used to these big fat cars that fucking drive like boats. What? I need my I need my JDM fucking shit. I'm JDM as fuck over here. And the first car you give me is a fucking Mustang. I mean the first car they give you in the game to actually drive, because they give you a little preview race, just like they do in the other Forza games. When you first start it up, you get the um, you get to drive the new 2017 Ford GT. A lot of fun. Good car. But, uh, keeping my ramblings, keeping on my ramblings, uh, as I suck at these races. I'm, I'm still getting used to the game. I, look at, man. Anyways, back to my car. 100, 189, 190, fucking, I'm just rounding to 190. 190 horsepower and 190 foot-pounds of torque from the factory. Uh, three liter, V6, fun car fun car. A lot of cops mistake me for a Honda Civic. I shit you not. I get, I've gotten pulled over, I got pulled over this fucking morning because my cop, because a cop thought that my car was a Honda Civic. And he thought that the big V6 that is in there was too, too loud. But it's a, it's a three liter V6, which if you ever, if you know anything, anything about cars, anything Honda, Toyota, Nissan, whatever, you know that something like a Civic or a camera or base model Corolla, those kind of things have little wimpy little four banger engines. Like maybe put out a hundred horsepower tops for the, a lot of those mid mid 90 shit boxes. Oh shit, I'm drifting! Oh god, I need to learn how to drive this car. I got one good pass, that's awesome. Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to catch ah fuck. Well, if you're watching me drive and fail, I really congratulate you. Uh... God. Um, so... Fucking, I'm done with this. I can't... Uh, my name is El Dingo. I can't drive. can't drive worth shit. I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go practice. I was really excited to hop into this game and learn how to play. But, uh, yeah, my name's El Dingo. Like, comment, subscribe, and when I learn how to play this game a little better, 
I will hop back in and play some more. We'll talk more about cars. Some JDM is fuck motherfuckers. You know it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Stick around. Later.